Hello, and welcome back to an episode of Septeracor. When we last left off, we were in front of the Incarn base. We're going to go there because the only other place is a Janam battleship. I feel like if we're trying to at least find the Incarns, we may as well go to one of their bases instead of the Janam, who are currently just killing people. And whole lot of resources. In fact, there was a fate card in there. I did not look at it at what it was though. Cause I'm dumb. But hello. Need to stand back so I'm not all up in your face while we talk. Who are you? Name's Lev. I'm in the Ankaran army. But my dad has me stationed here to keep me from getting hurt. He's done that ever since I lost my lower legs in a training accident. Dad? My father's General Campbell. You know, commander of the 5th Fleet. And he is that person that we saw in the cutscene. Who, which, I have actually recorded the previous cutscenes that did not actually come through, and they will be posted with this, instead of me saying that I will, and then not. Because <laughs> it was actually kind of difficult to even get Bandicam to register them, but I think I figured out how I can. <laughs> You're in the army? Second mechanized division, mobile infantry. Mechanic, actually. Daddy doesn't really let me fight. No. I feel like she actually wants to. Have you seen a little guy with a mohawk? No, I remember that. These enemy soldiers, are they all Janam? Yeah, the bastards invaded without a warning. They say we assassinated their president. That's bull. I think they're still ticked off because we whooped their butts a decade ago. What happened? They wanted to take our mining operations at the core away from us. They sent secret strike teams disguised as pirates to take them out, then walked in and offered to protect the operations. You mean annex them? Bingo. They started a whole little war. I find that war is never little. <laughs> well, Lead doesn't really have a whole lot to say to us. But... We did get some nice loot. Which means the only place left to go is the Janam battleship, after all. I forgot if there was actually something you could do there before the Janam battleship, honestly. Let's go there. It looks like it's... Yeah, it's most definitely crashed. It's a Janam ship. The Tiamat. I have no knowledge of such things. Sorry, because you're a swordsman. Let's go inside. So it totally looks safe. <clears throat> Welcome to Janam Engineering. Quite, uh, quite actually spaceship looking. There is a soldier. I will avoid him for now. I will not because, wow, there is a lot of corpses. Now I'm going to be mousing over these corpses because if I remember right, Somewhere along the line, one of them actually has some loot. Ah, there's one of the Janam support vehicles. Vehicles? One of the Janam support robots. I need to take that out first because it has the ability to repair. And that includes Janam soldiers. It's really not too tough, but they can be quite a nuisance. In fact, I think he might end up healing himself now. Which will not be ideal, but... At least they're spreading their damage. Oh, he decided to attack. What I'll do is have Corgan scan him. Or not, because... I don't actually have... the core. I'll do that to the next one. God! They are just destroying us. Can I just point that out? Alright, get rid of it. And this guy. As for this guy, you should be able to mostly, if not completely, kill him. Yeah! See, the Janam soldiers are maybe tough, but they're not tough enough for a sword. 
the officers, though, they're another story. Yeah, definitely another story. You should fall right about now, though. Could have gone better. Now, where is there to go on the ship? There is a lot of places to go on the ship. That's another support bot. I want to use some core before I do that. Oh, there's the other kind of support bot, too. There's two of them. Let's get the new one. That's a guard bot. Guard bot is very similar to the other one, but it has a few more abilities and is generally tougher. However, he's so low on the screen I cannot actually see his health. Which is not exactly ideal. God, Maya. Maintenance bot loves to zap people. See, the guard bot's damage is actually kind of considerable. Maintenance bot, not so much, but he seems to be able to do that much more. That's one of the things the guard bot has that the maintenance bot does not. Grenades. Because, you know, grenades. Uh, I will let Maya shoot him. And then you will attack him once, or he heals himself. Yeah, he's he just can't leave good enough alone. Yeah, you do not do. You would have done enough damage. That most definitely. Now, the guard bot shouldn't have that much health left. Has enough to soak that up, though. How about this? They still give a fair bit of money when you kill them, so that's always nice. There is just complete destruction. There's so many dead Janam here. These guys just stand here. So I think what I'm going to have, I'm going to do is have both of these people, Gorgon and Maya, just get up max and then attack the two main spots. Hopefully it doesn't backfire where neither of them die and then they just heal each other. That'll be annoying. can and will backfire. Especially since Maya missed. <sighs> yeah, and now he is pretty much fully healed again. So Maya, you do your level 1 attack on him. So that way Corrigan can get a level 3 on him. And manage to kill him. Whenever Corgan actually gets the chance to attack. Get that one damage so that way Corgan can take it down. Because they won't heal unless they are a certain percentage down. God! Game, I want you to know. Game, I want you to know I hate you. This battle has officially gone on about twice as long as it should have. Maya, wait. And now it's going to die. Get out of here. Sheesh. Completely unnecessary.
Now these two at level two should be able to both just destroy him because he is already damaged. Gotta get a very damaging grenade off first, holy crap. And my will be able to finish it off, which will just leave the gun. <sighs> was entirely annoying and a waste of time, but it was finally over. You should get like 500 experience for doing so much bloody damage to them that they healed. And there's a lever. What does lever do? Lever opens that door. My guess is, is that the other open area to the upper right unlocks the other door that we saw behind that one. This is kind of how the Janam battleship got its longevity, is arbitrary levers. Now, this one is guarded by Janam soldiers. This should be a bit different, and hopefully a bit easier-ish. So they can't actually heal each other. I know Corgan can one-shot a soldier. Sergeant's probably a different matter, but I will have him try anyway. So Maya will shoot him. I will shoot him with a level 1 to see if he falls over. Yes, yes he does. Well then. These guys are easy. We're going to just hit him with a level 2 and then my will do the same. That was 38 damage. Yeah, he's definitely going to fall. If not, Corgan can just go this. But nope. So much easier than the guard bots give me about as much stuff. Now, is there anything? The answer is no. Just a whole lot of corpses. Who are all the same color and not the color of <laughs> the Janam soldiers we see currently. Like, they're all metallic gray suits. Whereas the ones that we've seen were either white or light brown. Oh god, oh goody. I believe guard bots, while they have more health and do more damage and have a grenade, cannot actually heal. Ah, we're close enough for a grenade to hit both of us, even though it doesn't look it. Now, you slice him off. Just get rid of him now. Or not. And... Okay. I was going to say, Corgan should be able to finish him, and actually Maya should, because Corgan... Corgan's damage could be used elsewhere. thought that I may as well show it off as I haven't yet and I have just enough core to actually just refill that with a core room. Grenade! 30 damage. But if there was multiple characters around, that would do a considerable amount of damage. That, that's about as strong as my so really it's just for hitting multiple people. Please kill it. Now how he survived getting away from the robot that he sliced went and it immediately 
overloaded and exploded in his face. Yeah. Let's see, there's nothing over here. But over here, it's Grub! Yay! Grub? Oh, hey, Maya. What are you doing here? Couldn't help myself. I mean, this ship is awesome! Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I found this in here, on a dead Janam guard. What is it? Not sure. I think it's a recorded message, but I can't figure out how to play it. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, we got Grub back, and he's level 7. <laughs> oh, Grub. That's the thing. Magic characters, I believe, are the slowest... Well, quote-unquote magic characters are the slowest level characters in this game. That's why he's only level 7. Because otherwise, if he leveled up as fast as everybody else, we'd have a humongous core pool. Our cool core pool would probably be like 70 right now. And apparently when we get when we got him, it refilled our core for free. Well ain't that good. But let's leave this ship. And go back down to the base, because there was something I did not actually look at down there. That makes sense to the hollow message. The convenient hollow message of plot. Runner! Hey, heal, Pumpkin! Runner, here, boy! Pumpkin, get back here! Good boy! What did you find, Runner? His name is Pumpkin, and I found him, so he's mine. Oh, yeah? Well, I built him. Whatever. I wouldn't force him to stay anyway. Oh, well, now we got Runner, too. <laughs> Hi, Led. How's it going? What are you working on? An Ankaran flyer. You now, funnily enough, I just want to point this out. If you go back very early in the game, you'll notice that that first thing that I had Grub tinker with within the scrapyard of Oasis looked exactly like that. But it's an Ankaran flyer, and most of the scrap from Oasis comes from the chosen so little bit of reuse of textures there because unless the Ankarans a couple shells down use the same exact des design as the chosen yeah where did you find runner who the robot oh he was just limping along I figured he needed some help finders keepers you know well I mean you helped him so and then suddenly soldier some others around, but... No, there isn't. They all deserted. No. Let's talk to Dave. You understand Runner is not your property. I wouldn't say that too loudly if I were you. Hmm. <laughs> Let's have Maya That's a strange that. necklace you have. Oh, these? Dog tags from an enemy sergeant. You want them? Uh, sure, thanks. I'm gonna go look for supplies. What? See no! Later. I wasn't done talking to you. Ah. Well, poo. Bye, Dave. It was nice meeting you. Now, those dog tags are important, but... Not at the moment. It's a computer. That's helpful. Uh. Oh, you're just, you don't even say anything. I, I have no knowledge of such things. It looks like it can play the message I found. Well, then let's do that. Shall we? For Nazius, the operation is a success. The president of Janam has been destroyed, and the blame has been laid on Ankara. It is now a team to persuade the leaders of Janam to remain and accept revenge. Not oh my god! The captain of that ship must have found this and was returning home to show it to Janam's leaders. They must have realized that they'd been deceived. Couldn't they have just transmitted it? This close to the core, long-range radio transmissions are pretty garbled. We have to show this to my father. My father's General Campbell. You know, commander of the Fifth Fleet. 
But the capital is surrounded by Janam's troops. We can fly in with my ship. I don't know if I'd trust something this chick built. It's our only chance, Grub. You'll just have to deal with it. Find me an AE-35 power converter to get the ship running, and we're in. And that's what the Janam t dog tags are for. Because if you remember, there was that doorway within the base that I couldn't get into previously. With dog tags that Dave found, I can. So, surprise plot story. Plot dump. Story dump. Something or other. Something something story. <laughs> but, should be able to sneak by them. Actually, uh, th 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 yeah, why not? Initiate combat. I, now that we actually have the ability, I'd like to show off Grub's skills. But yeah, sudden plot, because nobody expected that it was actually the Chosen's fault. Alright, I want you to deconstruct this. Five core one-shots these characters. It's not too bad, especially if there's n characters that are quite a nuisance. You know, like the repair bots. But, we should be able to just completely destroy these guys with minimal problems. Or, you know, Corrigan can miss. That's always an option. I don't want to use all of my core doing that, so I'm just going to have Grub attack. Let's see what you can do, Grub. Uh, uh, oh. Well, it's, uh, that was something. What that something was, I'm not really sure, but it was something. Now, let's use these dog tags. On this thing. And we can now get into the other part of the ship. And this part is even bigger than the last one. But I'm going to save the continuation of the Janam ship for next time. So when we come back, it's all the Chosen's fault. As it should be. Till then, See you later.